Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake. If you'll share this on all your platforms for our weekly update, that would be awesome. How are you, Jake? You yeah. getting ready? It's a sad day. Why is it sad, Jake? That's my last update video. I'm leaving, and uh, man, got a lot of fond memories of these videos. It's been a weird year. It's, all, it's been a year since you abandoned us last March, and the world fell apart, and we started doing these update videos. Yep. And so, uh, signing off for the last time. Don't know where, you know, life's going to take me from here, but sure am going to miss, make, miss make, these make updates. Make sure you clarify that you um, are hey, going on sabbatical and not leaving Before forever. I leave, though, I got a little something prepared for all the Do people. And so, yeah, I just got to give thanks, you know. want to yeah. give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me the ability to do these videos. I want to thank my wife, Ashley, who's supported me throughout the year doing these videos. And thank all you good people out in Summit Land, all 25 of you, for tuning in every week and watching these videos, man. Can't tell you how much y'all have meant to me. Are you and done? I'm going to miss y'all. Are you done? So Jake's going on sabbatical, just in case you didn't know. Uh, some of you guys out there may be going, what in the world's going on here? Uh, Jake and Ashley will be starting their sabbatical for the month of March. And uh, while he's gone, we're gonna put the world back together. Uh, since he lost control last March when I was gone, <laughs> Uh, no, seriously, we're excited about those guys uh, taking some time off to rest. And uh, so, Nick, you're stuck with me for a month. Uh, well, maybe. We don't know. Hey, we don't know uh, what's going to happen. No, we don't. We I don't. mean, I, we you don't. know, we're, I could. We're, by faith, we're trusting I mean, that I you're, get, you're yeah. coming back, brother. You're and coming I could, back. you know, win the lottery, hey, let, let move me mention to a couple things. Mexico. <laughs> let me mention a couple things. Uh, just, just to remind you, as you know, we uh, are in 70-degree weather this week. That's good. Week, we're I mean, in wearing minus shorts. Three degree, I'm in shorts too, minus uh, one degree weather last week, so 80 degree swing. Uh, we did not have- mass off a little bit. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty- About it's a 70 lot. degree yeah. swing. Is it 70? You sure about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, 70 degree swing, it's still crazy. Here's the deal, we didn't have church two weeks ago and um, we had only one service last week. I do wanna make you aware that our needs right now are off the chain, uh, helping people. And with all the pipe bust and electricity and all the things that are going on, uh, I know that we have had probably a record week this week, maybe, I don't know. I mean, it's been a bunch uh, yeah. that's been going on. So here's what I wanna encourage you. We were on pace of catching up on our offerings uh, until Snowmageddon 2021 hit. And so I wanna encourage you over the last couple of weeks, giving has, um, how do I say this? Hadn't been very good. And we get it, we weren't here one Sunday, we only had one service last Sunday. We, we understand on that, but I wanna encourage you, we're meeting needs in this community. There's gonna be needs continuing going forward over these next few weeks. So I wanna encourage you to be faithful in your giving. We wanna to continue to meet those needs. We don't want anyone to walk out of this place not fed, not taken care of, uh, that we're not gonna to continue to love on food boxes or going out. I think. Uh, it seems like that's just growing all the time uh, on that. So Yeah, food does grow. You plant it in the ground and it grows. You gotta have some water and sunshine, but that will be growing constantly. So, so anyway, um, we are glad he's leaving. Uh, so uh, be faithful in your giving. You can give online, you can text to give, uh, you can even, I think there's some folks that come and drop it off every week, every other week when they do, uh, they get, do their giving. So. Uh, just encouraging you, just uh, continue to be faithful in that. So uh, we love you. We love getting to serve and do what we do here, but giving faithfully allows us to do uh, what God's called us to do in this community. So you got anything this week, Jake, besides uh, you're leaving? I don't um, got nothing, man. This is my last, tomorrow's room. my last day. Man, it's been so fun being your associate pastor. On to bigger things, though, on to... Better sleeping late, greener pastures, golfing. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, we started introducing our staff this year on these update videos, and we have another staff member we're going to be introducing today, and uh, we're excited about her and uh, she what she does here at Summit. In fact, some of you uh, may have not ever met her because she's our preschool pastor, and so she's back there with those babies and uh, taking care of infants. She also 
uh, is very instrumental in our online presence. Uh, this girl is sharp. She can figure out anything. Website, online, babies, diapers. Um, that's kind of a weird combination. But I want to introduce you to Kristen Walker. Kristen, come on up, girl. I feel like we need some applause or something. You get the hot seat today. I need oh some applause. <laughs> so, this is Kristen Walker. Kristen, how long have you been at Summit? I was thinking about it this morning, and I think like two and a half years. Oh, wait, you mean in all? No, yeah, oh, yeah, sure. I've been here for eight years. Eight years. As a member, and then on staff for about two and a half years. Two and a half years. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And I'm telling you, this girl does an incredible job. Um, like I said, she does preschool. She takes care of uh, websites. She takes care of online church. Um, you're a millennial, right? I don't know. Is that know. right? Something like I that? I don't know where I fall. Uh, I was born in the 90s. So you're Born you're... in the 90s. I graduated <laughs> high school in the 90s. I was That's born crazy. in 9B, actually. So. Oh, my gosh. Now <laughs> I feel old. Uh, so you're definitely a millennial, I so you so. can figure out anything uh, when it comes to digital and all that kind of stuff. So, Jake, you got any interesting facts about uh, I have one Kristen? fact, one fact, but it's pretty dang interesting. So, you know how you look up baby names and try to get biblical names or whatever? Well, I looked up the name Kristen this week, and the biblical Hebrew meaning of Kristen literally means technologically sound preschool pastor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, what an incredible God moment that oh Kristen's parents would get that revelation from God in 1990. <laughs> and here she is at Summit running preschool and all of our technology. Folks, I'm telling you, God is real and he's working in your life. And this is a testimony of that. <laughs> wow. There, there, Told you it was a good one. There's just no end to your talent. I'm telling you. It's well, it's not amazing. talent. You just it's, get on Google. It's amazing. It really is You just is can amazing. get on Google and find a wealth of information yeah. yes. out there. So, Kristen, I've asked this of all of our staff members, and I know what the answer is, but I'm going to go ahead and ask anyway, because every one of them has been the same. What's your favorite part about being on staff at Summit High? So I said, I already know the answer. You got the best boss in the whole world, uh, but because uh, everybody else is well, technically that way. she answers to Ashley, so that would make Ashley the best boss. So, in the what's whole your world. favorite part about being on staff at Seven Heights? <clears throat> uh, I've thought about this question a lot, and I don't know what the one answer is, but the only thing that keeps coming to mind is the family that I have on staff. So. I love my job, I love babies, I love doing the internet, I love doing everything um, more than I can imagine or explain to you. But the family that I have on staff um, and the brothers and the sisters and the people that sit around the table with me are my absolute favorite thing. Sometimes it's fun in there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday we chased a few rabbits in our staff meeting. It was kind <laughs> of a, a different yeah. day. So um, now you have two boys, is that right? Two boys. How old are your boys? Oh my gosh, how old are they? Seven and nine? A little pressure there. Yeah, I had to think about that for a minute. I always forget so. their ages. <laughs> uh, uh, have you looked up their ba or their name means? I, I have them actually hanging on the wall. That's and right. I couldn't tell you right now what they and are. And one so. day they're going to be... <laughs> sitting in a chair being interviewed and it's just going to be this wow god thing that they're doing exactly what you their middle them. names are ray and they mean wise protector and yeah. they're both ray so i can remember that they're going to be secret <laughs> service men protecting wise politicians or something telling you is man, this stuff is crazy wait, 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 is there such a thing as a wise politician oh, that's a good point <laughs> well i mean we're talking what 10 15 20 years from now oh, okay could be could be i mean so, Kristen, uh, your your preschool area, we just redid all that back there, and I know you did an outstanding job uh, designing that. What's your passion around preschool and ministry? Uh, I mean, I know you do online stuff and that, but kind of give a flavor for those out there that may be still at home, not wanting to bring their kids yet because of all the stuff that's going on, kind of give them some encouragement uh, around that and your vision, that passion for preschool ministry. What I think about when I think about the preschool ministry is not just getting the love on babies because that's like the first thing that runs through my mind at all times, but is that because that we are loving on babies and we're the first people to get to teach them about Jesus, we're giving their parents the opportunity to go and explore Christ because we're giving their babies a safe place to go to. Yeah. And that's where my brain goes is that 
whenever I was a first time mom and I started going to church here, um, I was able to take my new, not newborn, but small child back there so I could come here and um, get to have a better relationship with God. And I think that's what the preschool ministry does. Uh, we lay the foundation for kids, but we're really, I feel like, laying the foundation for their parents. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, Kristen, we are so grateful for you and all you do here. I love you. I'm proud of you. Just and everything that you do, uh, just your attitude. Um, it's, it's awesome. Uh, love you. Thank you. And yeah, if you, you see guys. Kristen this week, give her a high five. She usually sits back behind the table in the media area in the nine o'clock. And then at the 11 o'clock, she's back there loving on babies and parents. And uh, mm -hmm. if you've not brought your kids back yet, you need to come back, check them into the Kidventure area. We'd love to have you. Uh, Jake, we love you. Hope you have a restful time. Uh, I'm gonna miss your whatever this is that you do uh, with us on Thursdays. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, hey, don't forget, be faithful in your giving this week. Uh, like I said, you can go online, you can give, you can text and give, uh, you can drop it off, you can be ready this Sunday uh, to give an offering. We also have Disciple Now coming this weekend. It's gonna be a phenomenal weekend. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, we love you, we'll see you Sunday.